After six years of reform, Dugco claims that they have achieved a world-class education based on the four C's, creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, and communication. The four C's were developed to provide Dugco students with 21st century skills and education. Why should Jeffco look at what has happened in Dugco? Conservative reformers claim Jeffco is failing. To fix Jeffco, the Jeffco board majority is implementing the Dugco playbook at warp speed. Let's take a look at what has happened in Dugco before and after this reform. Within two years of reform, Dugco issued its first strategic plan promising choice, a world-class education, and improved system performance. They described this process as convergence of literature and research, a transformational journey to reinvent education. Where does the 21st century world-class education based on the four C's come from? Meet Ken K, CEO of EdLeader21. EdLeader21 is a consulting company offering products and services for developing 21st century skills and education. Using the four C's of creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, and communication. How closely tied to EdLeader 21 is Dugco? Dugco Superintendent Fagan is featured on the main page of edleader21.com. In 2013, Dugco issued an update claiming they had successful results. Student achievement was high and the district was efficiently operated based on an undefined measure, efficiency dollar amount per student. Dugco claimed that the union bosses were making false claims and ignoring the data. Dugco Assistant Superintendent Dan McMenemy said, I'm a big fan of data and he was crystal clear that achievement has been increasing. McMinimi said that people are attacking Dugco while ignoring data. McMinimi is now the Jeffco Superintendent of Schools, implementing the Dugco Playbook. In 2014, Dugco issued a new strategic plan. This plan is filled with inspiring quotes and pictures. It's a beautiful document that can be downloaded from the Dugco website. Dugco is convinced that its free market reforms are transformational in education. Dugco is now marketing its ideas to school districts across the nation. They recently held an innovation summit, paid for by the Douglas County Schools Educational Foundation. Why should Jeffco care? The new board majority has hired key staff from Dugco, is implementing the same playbook, and is using some of the same educational consultants with a mission to transform Jeffco. Both Tugco and Jeffco have the full support and backing of the leadership program of the Rockies and Independence Institute. We use data for the 11 largest districts in Colorado on the front range from 2005 to 2014. This establishes a baseline of peer district performance. There is a strong correlation between poverty levels in a school or district and performance. If you compare test scores between school districts and ignore demographics, you can conclude nothing. This is a line of correlation for reading versus poverty levels for the 11 largest districts in Colorado in 2014. Individual districts that fall above the line are outperforming relative to their peers. Individual districts that fall below the line are underperforming relative to their peers. In 2014, Dugco underperformed and Jeffco outperformed their peers in reading. In the next series of graphs, we will compare the performance trends from 2005 to 2014 for Dugco and Jeffco 
relative to the 2014 correlation line of their peer districts. In this video, we compare performance for all kids in reading, writing, and math. In the companion video, World Class Education Part 2, we look at district performance for children in special education and poverty. Here we compare reading performance relative to the correlation line for Dugco and Jeffco starting in 2005 and ending in 2014. We start with 2005 and successively add years. Note, in all these graphs, the 2014 score is a circle. Both Dugco and Jeffco have had increasing free and reduced lunch levels from 2005 to 2014. Before 2009, Dugco was underperforming. After 2009, scores have dropped while free and reduced lunch levels have increased. Dugco's performance in 2014 is on the same trend as before 2009. Dugco has been stalled in performance and is still underperforming. Dugco reforms have not significantly increased reading performance. In contrast, Jeffco scores have steadily increased, even while free and reduced lunch levels have increased. This upward trend is significant. Relative to peer districts, Jeffco has progressed from underperforming to outperforming. Here we show the same trend data for Dugco and Jeffco for writing. We start with 2005 and successively add years ending in 2014. After 2009, Dugco scores on average have slightly increased relative to the correlation line. Note the instability in Dugco scores after 2009. This performance instability is common for many performance measures for Dugco after 2009. Dugco schools have experienced tremendous turmoil since 2009. But overall, Dugco has stalled at underperforming in writing. Dugco's performance in 2014 is on the same trend as before 2009. Reforms in Dugco have had no real significant impact on writing performance. In contrast, Jeffco scores have not changed significantly while poverty levels have increased. If Jeffco were performing on trend, writing performance should be dropping like in Dugco. In writing, Jeffco has progressed from underperforming to slightly outperforming. Here are comparable data for math, starting with 2005 and ending in 2014. Dugco scores have not increased, but Dugco has moved closer to the correlation line. Even so, after 2009, it is still underperforming and progress appears to have stalled. Jeffco has steadily increased scores, even as free and reduced lunch levels have increased. Jeffco's performance has progressed to slightly outperforming compared to 10 peer districts. Dugco has not outperformed peer districts on any measure of performance since implementing its world-class education model. Performance measures in Dugco have either remained unchanged or are lower than 2009. Commonly, Dugco scores since 2009 have become unstable, reflecting instability in Dugco schools. It seems that reform in Dugco has created instability, but no significant increase in achievement. Conservative reformers have called Jeffco a failure. Yet on most performance measures, Jeffco has steadily improved performance since 2005. How is this a failure? What else might be happening here? Is Dugco providing a world-class education?
The new Jeffco Chief Communications Officer, Lisa Pinto, stated, There's been some tough times in Jeffco over the last year. We know that, and I was brought in to take a fresh look at the communication structure in Jeffco and try to message the great things we do for children in this district and get rid of all the outside discussions that are not relevant to our mission. Jeffco 2020 Vision Development is a committee working on vision for a strategic plan for Jeffco. This effort is spearheaded by Dan McMinnemy and Ken Kay with Ed Leader 21. Ken Kay is the vision discussion leader. Jeffco's vision will develop a 21st century education. Based on the four C's of critical thinking, communication, collaboration, and creativity to be presented to the Jeffco Board on May 7, 2015. The strategic plan will be finalized during the July Board meeting and then implemented in our schools.